Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you in this tutorial how to solve the little question number 389. Find the difference. Basically, you're given two strings, S and T. String T is generated by random shuffling string S, and then add one more letter at a random position. Return the letter that was added to T. Here are some examples, so there's the string S, after that we randomly, you know, to generate, to generate the string T, they basically randomly shuffle these characters. In this case, they appear to the same position, but you know, it's not always the case. They have added the extra character E at the end of the string, right? Our task is to return that like extra character, which has been added to the string S after all the transformation to the string have been applied. Here are some other examples, but they're quite similar. So the constraints are the following. We can always assume that the length of the string T will be equal to the length of the string S plus one. There will be always only one extra character at the string T. And also, both strings consist of lowercase English letters. This is what we have, guys. Okay, how can we solve this question? Before I will write the code, let me remind you one thing, actually. I'm sure that the majority of you already know that, but still, if you're very new to, com to programming, just in case I will explain it. Basically, every single character has its own unique integer representation. Let me prove it to you. Okay, for example, if I will print out the integer representations of the character A and, for example, of the character 1, I will get something like that. So the integer representation of the character A is equal to 97, the integer representation of the character 1 is equal to 49, and so on. All the other characters which, are, which exist basically have their own unique integer representation, right? Let me write the code now, and you understand why I have told it to you. Okay. Okay, okay, guys. Basically, right? One of the possible solutions would be the following. You define the integer value. After that, you iterate through the string t. You sum up all the integer representations of all the characters from the string t. You store this sum as a variable. On each iteration you update it and you know and then he will basically have the sum of all the integer representations of all the characters from the string t having this sum you can iterate after that through the string s and basically you know you can deduct from the sum all the integer representation of all the characters from the string s and which will mean that by the end after you will go through these two for loops the variable r will store the difference Basically, it will store the integer representation of one extra character which has been added. And after that, you can just take this integer representation of that like one character and convert this integer representation to the character. And basically, you can return it after that. This is what we need to do, guys. That's basically it. That's it. Of course, there's some other possible solutions, but you know, this is quite efficient. Okay, let me run the code now. Okay, it works. Let me submit. Cool guys, 99%, one millisecond. Yeah, I think that's it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please guys, give it a like and subscribe. Challenge your friends to see if they can solve this question or not. And I will see you in the next video guys, good luck.